Good evening. For those of you I have not yet had the honor of meeting, my name is Margaret Higgins, and I am honored to serve as the president of this magnificent Jesuit Catholic High School. We are thrilled, thank you, we are thrilled to welcome you to campus tonight to celebrate our fourth annual Ray of Hope Scholarship event. To bless our gathering tonight, please welcome our chancellor and founding president, Father Peter Paps. Peter. Thank you very much, Margaret. I'm here to tell you that I have two pieces of good news and one piece of bad news. So first piece of good news, the blessing will count for the food that you've already consumed. <laughs> Pope Francis, who is a Jesuit, has given that permission to every Jesuit. I'm sorry, Father Brendan, you may get that privilege at some point. But. <laughs> and as you have heard me say before, the other piece of good news is that there is plenty of money to keep this school operating. The bad news is it's still in your pockets, and we're going to try to do something about that tonight. So it's just it's so great to look out and see so many friendly and warm faces, people that I've known for, for so long. So thank you so much for your support. We had a, a visit from our, our new bishop, uh, Oscar Cantu, and he came for a pre-Lenten service where he encouraged all of us, and the students and faculty and staff, to really ponder about what is God's dream for us. And then we can spend this time of Lent imagining what is God's dream for all of us during this holy season. And then earlier this week, we celebrated the, the patron of our city and diocese, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. And Joseph had dreams. He had angels in his dreams who told him what to do. And poor guy, every time he went to bed, there was a new angel telling him, you know, do this, do that, marry, marry, go to Egypt. But so more about dreams. So all this dreaming is about our relationship with Christo Rey, Christ the King. And what does it mean to be friends with Christ? So let us pray tonight. God, our friend, you have sent your Son and the Holy Spirit to be with our students and among us here at Christo Rey. Bless the food that we're going to share. Bless our school may be a place where dreams are formed and realized. And bless all of us gathered here. Help our friends here to know tonight how grateful we are for their love and support to keep this dream alive of Christo Rey. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Thank you, Peter. As Peter said, um, the bishop came to nourish us, nourish us spiritually, but he told us he's coming back for Emmanuel's mother's mole. If you are in this room or watching us via live stream, you're more than a guest at an event. You are family. Bienvenido a la familia Cristo Rey. Siempre está bienvenido aquí. Welcome to the Cristo Rey family. You are always welcome here. We are a family that gathers in East San Jose for a common purpose, to ensure outstanding young people have access to a college prep education with a distinct professional work experience, which leads to success in college and beyond. We are a family that is fiercely proud of our students. I'll offer you three examples. Sitting with you tonight at your tables are top debaters in the Urban Debate League. Our students have placed in three tournaments, including securing the top trophies. Thank you. You are also joined tonight by members of our boys' soccer team. With a brand new gym, for the first time, we are now able to actually compete in athletic leagues. In their first year of league play, our soccer team won the championship. Just saying. First year champions. However, most of a much larger group of people are not seated at your tables. They couldn't be here with you tonight because they're in a dorm room, or they're at the library writing a paper, or they're in class. They are not here because throughout California and the nation, they are in college. 100% of the class of 2018 enrolled in college last fall. All but seven 
of 111 returned after Christmas break. And that is a phenomenal retention rate. And our principal assures me we will find the seven that didn't return. Our goal is to assure that they graduate from college and return to transform our communities. None of this is possible without your support, your philanthropic investment, jobs, volunteer leadership, your time, and even your love. So family, we want to thank you for your positive impact on our students, our school, and our city. First, and if the directors in the room would please stand or raise your hands, the Christo Ray Board of Directors, led by B.J. Kasson and John Serrato. Thank you. Thanks to all of our donors who fund the portion of the Christo Ray Student Experience. $7,500 per student, which is not funded through their jobs or through their families. They often also volunteer time and open doors for students. Thank you. To our corporate partners who provide jobs and create networks that lead to college and career choices. This year, our students, through our corporate partners, earned $3.25 million to fund their education, covering close to half of their educational expenses. How many high school students can say they fund half of their private college prep education? Crystal Ray High School students can. Tonight's event would not have been possible without dedicated staff in both advancement and in our corporate work study program, along with the Ray of Hope event committee. We thank you. Nothing would be possible without our students, their parents, their families, and the incredible teachers and staff at Christo Ray. We thank you for your dedication and for your trust. I'd also like to recognize two of our city council members who have joined us this evening, council member Deb Davis, and council member Johnny Hamas. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Finally, please join me in welcoming a member of Christo Ray's founding circle, a corporate partner, a Christo Ray champion, and a great friend, the Honorable Sam Licardo, Mayor of San Jose. <laughs> You know, as, a, as mayor, it's a pretty good gig for the most part, but as you can imagine, uh, we are constantly challenged. The realities that we see every day around us, the great challenges of our city, homelessness, poverty, the of economic opportunity, affordable housing. We know it, those challenges are, are all around us in this city and every city throughout the state. And it really all comes down to Problem, great challenge of our generation. Why do we survive? Why do we survive? And those who are prospering incredibly in this economy, who benefit through their skills and this great prosperity, and for the thousands of residents here in this city and millions of the country who are being left behind. And I just wanted to express my sincere gratitude to so many of you who are deeply committed to Christian. Because you know, as I do, just how critical this school is to help us tackle that great challenge of our generation. You know, there was a Chinese proverb that you probably heard before that the best time to plant a tree was a generation ago. The next best time is today. And those of you who are employers who are willing to reach out, and you'll be given an opportunity to a bright, Young Christo Ray students, those donors of you who have been committed from the very beginning, the members of our founder circle, and so many have given generously, you recognize that this is the time to plant the tree. So thank you for doing that. I particularly want to thank all those employers who are the victims of my harassment and uh, Matt Bell's harassment in the past years. Uh, your willingness not just to take on this challenge, but to continue to employ us students has been so essential. I can tell you, at the city of San Jose, after we got through a few uh, challenges with various legal authorities, we were finally able. We were, yes, we were finally able to employ 
uh, film Mr. Ray students. And I'm told, I think I saw Rachel, there's Rachel, Rachel's right here. She happens to be one of the very strong. Don't tell me on Anthony, but you're the really brilliant one. I know. They're all brilliant. They're all tremendous. And they're hardworking, and they all have great, brilliant futures. And our entire team has really come to just value them so much. Uh, and we are so grateful for all that Rachel and Anthony have given to us and Leo. Uh, I wanted to just express my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for continuing this great tradition that is going to be so essential for us to show the rest of the country and the rest of the world how in San Jose we are confronting this great challenge of our generation. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Sam, thank you so much for being here and, and for believing in this project from the very beginning and being being on the team that was really formulating it and imagining that here's a dream that can really come true. So uh, Sam, thanks, and he's a Jesuit educated guy, so we appreciate that as well. <laughs> so the people, my friends, say that there are no strangers in my life, just unmet friends. So four years ago, there was a stranger who became an unmet friend because I had to go and get a smog check on my car. And there was one of these sandwich board signs down on 28th Street. And I went in and said, you do a smog check? He said, sure. And so then we started talking, you know, what's going on? He said, oh, I've got this daughter. I said, we're doing this school. And he said, well, do you, think, do you think my daughter could come to your school? And I said, I don't know why not. So my privilege tonight is to introduce to you our student speaker, Ann Dang, whose father and I became friends, and, and she's a marvelous young woman, and we're so honored to have her here at Cristo Rey. Um, thank you to Father Paps, and thank you for everyone for being here today. Um, super excited. In this moment, in our celebration of dreams realized and dreams to be continued, you and I are witnesses to the profound intricacies of time. I was brought here in front of you tonight from the moment I was dropped off for kindergarten at a school next to a lovely church. Five Wounds Elementary School, a school which resided on this very plot of land years ago, was where for the first time I sat in a classroom, played tag on a playground, painted, and did anything a kid would do. However, I had to leave after about five months because my parents could no longer afford the price tag of a Catholic private education. Now I'm back here because we can. Father Paps drove into my dad's smog check shop at the right time. While I was a complacent little eighth grader, my parents were trying to nudge me back into Catholic education for high school. Tuition, however, was always that overwhelming wall that just couldn't be overlooked. Then came Father Paps and the exciting, affordable opportunity of Cristo Rey, God's work. This was what my dad described it as when he tenderly recalled the day he and Father Paps met. The day a hopeful dream arrived into our lives on four wheels. <laughs> my parents were ecstatic. I would be going back to my roots. And in the excitement of foreseeing a bright future for his daughter, my dad proudly shared a poem I wrote with a past Cristo Rey staff member who visited my dad's shop after Father Paps. Who knew that my first real attempt at a poem that I probably wrote in 10 minutes would lead me back to this land and propel me onto this stage? I saw it as a simple, insignificant poem, but my dad graciously took this piece of work and potential that I possessed and bared it to the world like special fruit. The warm feeling I get from this love and care is just not limited to my parents or my family, 
But it also extends into my education, my growth, and my future because I go to Cristo Rey San Jose. And the big reason for why I go here is because that person from Cristo Rey who read this poem looked at my dad and said that I belonged here. Now I see what she saw. The poem was simple and insignificant to me then, but really embedded in it is a map for continuing the dream. This poem was therefore like my bridge to Cristo Rey, and I use it tonight as a bridge to my experiences, and hopefully it will become my bridge to you. How many stars can you count before a veil of sleep gently covers your mind? The beginning of my poem and the beginning of my Cristo Rey journey. My parents encouraged me to attend Cristo Rey partly because I seemed lost. College was an enigma, my future was uncertain, and my confidence was undermined by my own fear. It was so easy to stand on sand and just realize with unease that for every grain under my feet is so many more stars, so many more daunting paths to take. It was just easier to explore possibilities in my sleep. But I can tell you the degree of stars in the universe does not compare to how mad my parents got when I told them I didn't want to go to college. <laughs> And so Cristo Rey was what my parents envisioned to be an upward slope for me and to my future. I started high school moody and irritated, but I grew to recognize the value of learning. And past the Alex math topics, the dreaded Cornell notes and the seemingly endless essays, I also saw the value of learning for myself. This is because I am continually inspired by Cristo Rey staff members and teachers who work so hard for their students. And I am also inspired by my classmates who laugh and desire to succeed despite whatever struggles or challenges they may be facing. As you can see, I am truly a testament as to why parents say, you'll thank us later. <laughs> Do you dream of the impossible? Do you dream a dream? There is no doubt that Cristo Rey has a voice. The stories, the work, and the intentions of every person here are like beautifully spoken words. And at a school rooted in social justice, what better way to use words than with love, caring for those in need of uplifting? This was not something I gradually realized. I already heard it in the bustle of the hallway as an eighth grader waiting to be interviewed by an intimidating Mr. Albers. <laughs> I already felt it through the teachers on day one of Cristo Rey's Summer Bridge. And I continue to feel it through all my years, like the steady note of a loving fermata pulsing through the hearts of every person here. In that way, in the way that I am guided by mentors and friends, who seek to understand me and every person and do it with love, the improbable is less intimidating and the impossible is instead a wonderful dream. I felt this strongly in my sophomore year. After my freshman year, I desired a platform for a personality to thrive amidst the stress of high school, but I was too scared to take any step forward. After a summer theater class, however, I channeled my artistic inspiration from the theater stage to the upbringing of my school's own stage, an open mic night. I worked in a dedicated and excited little team, and the possibility of adding greater color to the school made this idea a passion project, a little dream. During my sophomore year, the open mic was a rare school-wide artistic platform, but it didn't stay that way. The community voices inspired me to develop a school literary magazine and a night of the arts the following year continued to offer a stage for the arts. An idea that I worried wouldn't take off became a leap into a growing tradition of celebrating the school's talent, the school's voice. Like a spell, your eyes do not open, but you can see anything, imagination that flows out. 
Truly, Cristo Rey offers the spell of inspiration, of passion. I am always called to close my eyes, not to shield what I see, but see with my heart. I remember how scary it was to walk into a corporate office during my first year. I stayed within the comforting walls of my cubicle, desperate to squeeze my eyes to the strange environment and even stranger people. <laughs> Adults. <laughs> Over time, however, I learned to see a way the talents and visions of a teenager can fit in among adults. I was able to do this when I quietly reflected on myself, something Christere inspires me and many students to do. To look inward, see with your heart, find that kernel of inspiration and strive. Finding God in all things, especially yourself. And then I was writing articles, being emailed to employees worldwide, speaking and laughing with hardworking adults, highlighting the, these adults by creating a recognition page, sharing weekly posts with links to articles empowering women in business, starting a photo wall to celebrate good times, and much more. It's not strange anymore. But in about three months, I will be moving across the country to attend Yale University. Thank you. And I will be in strange new places again. <laughs> However, I have this bridge, a poem anchored in the sandy beach of dreams and stretching across an ocean of stars. I crossed this bridge once already at Cristo Rey, and I can cross it again in places Cristo Rey encourages its students to go. Like an open book, what do you dream? What I was only com comfortable exploring in my sleep four years ago, I am striving for today. Going to college, going through college, maybe attending law school, and meeting impassioned people along the way. And I can strive for these things because I am supported not only by people here at Cristo Rey, but also, by, but also by people like you who believe in me and believe in my dreams. And so the profound intricacies of time brought me before you tonight, where I stand with the strength of the, of the foundation of this ground and am infused with the love of Father Paps and other mentors and friends at Cristo Rey. This is beauty in a dream realized, and this is beauty in dreams to be continued, all seen by those who are lucky enough to step on the sacred ground. Thank you. And I wrote something really nice about you, but I just want to say I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I would also like to say that Yale University is very lucky to get you, but we'll be luckier in Silicon Valley when you come back to us. We have three very good law schools, and two of them happen to be Jesuit, not to be pushing. <laughs> Thank you, and your inspiration. <laughs> All right, Cristo Rey is a place fueled by miracles, fueled by you, our benefactors, our corporate partners, our teachers, staff, smart, hardworking, compassionate students, our parents, Serendipity, St. Ignatius, and the Virgin of Guadalupe. Anne's story is unique. Let me recount it. A smog shop, a dad, a priest, one incredible young girl, and a Cristo Rey education but her story is not unusual. You'll see that in a moment in our video, showcasing our other students and our other families. Anne is joined by over 450 other Cristo Rey students and their families. Applications are up by 80%, so will grow in the future. Thank you. If you look up, our scoreboards are frozen and they're frozen at an important date, June 8th, 2019.
the day that Anne and over 100 of her classmates will walk across the graduation stage, become Cristo Rey alums, and journey on to college. The banners around the gym honor tonight's scholarship sponsors, benefactors, corporate sponsors, and family foundations, who to date have raised 73 scholarships for our students. But our, yes, it's remarkable. But our work is not yet done. We need to raise 30 more scholarships to fully fund the class of 2019 at Cristo Rey San Jose. So as we watch tonight's video, let's recall the question that Anne gave us. She said, are you satisfied to dream a dream or will you join us tonight and make a dream come true? Thank you. Story is a very important place in the east side of San Jose because it creates leaders, it creates influencers, it creates people that are striving for social justice, and it creates dreamers that allow for future change and positivity to create a healthier environment, not just in the east side of San Jose, but the greater community. It's grounded in the Jesuit tradition of building men and women for service for others. Well, the first time I heard about it, the Cristo Ray program is probably about eight years ago, and I was basically hooked. I think we really ought to have that sort of a program in San Jose. We have a very high concentration of low income, uh, primarily Hispanic families that would like to see their children go on to college, and it just seemed like a, really something we should grasp and run with here in San Jose. There are 20,000 high school age kids in East San Jose who are low income and underserved and going to low performing schools. And we have the opportunity to give them choices. And so that's why we're gonna keep this place going so that we'll have 500 kids every year who will be able to uh, have an education that will give them more choices in their vocation in the future. Our founding benefactors and our founding corporate sponsors have changed the lives of students and families in Silicon Valley. I don't think I would be where I am now without Christopher Ray, just because um, Christopher Ray really encourages you to go above and beyond with colleges. I didn't think I was going to be able to get into so many colleges. I know I got into I think 13 colleges, which is amazing because it's like, oh my god, like I thought I could, I, I thought I could barely get into one. So in comparison to peers in the area, our students have significantly outperformed their educational outcomes. 100% uh, of our graduates completed the course requirements for the universities in California versus in the neighboring five public schools, only 35%. Uh, so our students have over tripled the average of our their peers uh, with the significance of what they get here from Christo Ray. I think Christo Ray just kind of pushed me to be the best that I could be and really made me see my worth. Seeing my sister go to college is just so, it makes me really happy that I get to see her succeed and it also makes me want to like do what she's doing so I also want to go to college because she's going to college. Christo Ray is kind of an island of of uh, hope for East San Jose here, where to have a Christo Ray model right in the middle of uh, East San Jose, where uh, students are brought in and are given a, a great uh, experience in the, in the classroom. They have to work hard one day a week. They're they're off in the workplace, which they learn a lot about uh, life and potential jobs for them uh, in the in the future. Service is very important to Paul and I as uh, partners in this company and um, you know, part of being service is to help the youth of today, which is the next generation. Brandon came in as a shy young 14 year old and we watched him become more confident in his uh, skill set here, his comfort level with the employees and basically it's great to see him discuss what he's going to do in college and I think we've been a big part of prepping him for that aside from Crystal Ray. Between the last five years, uh, there's been a lot of growth. Uh, physically, the buildings, the gym, uh, with the students, it's their mindset. 
you know, I look out and I see all these kids and I see that you know, they're happy. And, and it's like, wow, we've created an environment here where these kids like coming to the school, they want to be here. And that's just an amazing gift. Bueno, mi hijo mayor le hizo, es si tuvo un gran cambio. Eh, entrando al colegio, cambió totalmente su forma y se fue de lleno en el estudio que yo creo following you through the growth and pushing you forward without giving up on you I feel like that's the biggest thing that I've taken from Chris Jordan seeing my older brother go to college it's like I want to be in his footsteps I want to follow the same path as him porque la verdad si no fueran por ustedes eh, al menos yo creo que mis, mis hijos Arnold y Renzo no, no estuvieran donde están ahorita. A Cristo Rey Education transforms. It transforms our students, their families. I really truly do believe that this is the future leadership of Silicon Valley. They're here on campus with us today. The greatest needs at Cristo Rey are for partnership. And I mean full on partnership. Cristo Rey cannot exist without benefactors, without donors, without corporate sponsors. Crystal Ray for sure has an increased the speed in which I have grown and just being able to come to this country and being able to go to university. That's, I feel like that's an accomplishment which has made me the person that I am today. Wow, what a fantastic video, <laughs> that's an understatement. Uh, my name is Mark Allman, and uh, we couldn't be more excited to have you all here tonight. Uh, there is really, truly a miracle that took place here. You know, it started out as an idea, just a sparkle in, in, a, in a couple of our uh, very, very generous uh, donors' eyes, and they created something that has transformed the lives of so many students already, and you can imagine how it will look to our valley uh, in uh, a few years, and how it will change the, the entire scope of what this valley looks like when these kids come back uh, educated as they will be. So we couldn't be more uh, excited. As you take an alternate universe, as Anna East said in the video, she said, you know, I would not be here and doing what I'm doing today if not for Chris Joe Ray. So, uh, tonight is about keeping the dream going, and uh, that's uh, by completing the goal of funding our entire amazing class of 2019 students. Uh, we're going to use a bit of technology, really cool technology, if you will, to uh, that will instantly project the total amount that we raised tonight, uh, and it's going to be used through the use of your phone. Uh, and we'd like to set that up right now by way of asking everyone to just pull out their phone right now. Uh, and and it, it's kind of cool, you know, we've got this technology, we're in Silicon Valley. We figured what we would do is we would project uh, the, the total amount that we intend to raise tonight. But don't, don't be pushing the button, the send button. That's the only thing you don't want to do right now. Uh, so, in fact, somebody's already gotten a, a jump start there. Okay, thank you to Catherine Crater and Martin Higgins, yes, and the Burroughs, very good. Uh, but don't push the set button yet. So just pull out your phones and go to your text uh, screen, if you will, your little text screen, and go as if you were going to text somebody new. Uh, and and in, the, in the line that says to whom you're going to text to, you just text this number. Are you ready? 
The number is 56512. But don't send, don't push the send button, just the 56512 in the uh, in the two area, all right? That's fabulous. Everybody has now donated 556,512 dollars. <laughs> All right, uh, so a few moments from now, we're going to ask you to send your pledge, and your pledge will roll onto the screen, and you'll contribute to moving the tomato closer to hopefully and ultimately exceeding our goal. Uh, and when prompted, uh, you're going to enter into the text line. So here's what you're going to do. You, when, when, when prompted, you're going to enter into the text, text line, line, which you're going to write somebody. Uh, you're going to write the, the word Christo, C-R-I-S-T-O, and then a space, and, but you don't have to do it. Well, you can do it now if you like, uh, but don't push send. Uh, Right? And push, so you write Christo, and then a space, and then the amount that you're going to pledge, and then your name, if you like. All right? Your name. Uh, and it will show up on the score. If you'd like to remain anonymous, then just don't add your name, or, or add your, your pet's name, or, or, or your neighbor's pet's name, something that would be a skewer to us, all right? So we couldn't find you. Uh, then, uh, and, all right, so then you can send and then you can Okay, so if, if you're all doing it now, please don't push your send button yet, okay? Make sure that. Uh, so, seventy-five hundred dollars, uh, which uh, Mark Higgins alluded to, is the amount required to cover the gap to achieve the full cost of a Crystal Ray education for students. And as Dr. Higgins mentioned, and Mayor Lepardo mentioned, our students work really hard throughout the year to earn nearly half the cost of the tuition made possible by our incredibly generous partners. And we have almost a hundred corporate partners now. That many of them are here supporting our students tonight. We want to thank our partners that are fabulous in helping us do that. And the great feedback that we get from our partners, they say, these students are amazing. They're some of the most incredible uh, workers with great work habits, fabulous, fabulous, uh, outstanding uh, kids. We love to have them. And it's true, every, and, and it's just amazing. It's very sincere about it. Um, so, using the $7,500 gap number, we've already raised 75 scholarships via generous sponsorships and donations through Ray of Hope to date, which is about $550,000. And that's a big shout out to many of you here tonight who enabled us to get to this point. We cannot thank you enough for getting us here. That means, yes, absolutely. That's 75 students who have been fully funded. All right, so the, the goal of $225,000 on our thermometer, let's see, yes, we've got the thermometer up there, uh, shows, uh, represents the 30 remaining students in our senior class. So 30 and 75, 105 students that we have in our entire senior class, and that's what we're trying to fund tonight. What we have, so, we came up with a number of different funding levels, and we figured what we would do, because everybody's, uh, uh, with the understanding that everybody's uh, uh, capabilities are different in terms of support, we just asked that you pick the highest level that you're comfortable with. Okay. So I'll let you know what the levels are, and then uh, and then we'll get to that. The understanding, of, so the levels are uh, anything up to $100, and then $250, and then $500, and then $1,000, and then $2,500, and then $5,000, and then $7,500. Why did we pick that number? Well, that's the, that's the full tuition gap, all right? And then $10,000, but we figured, gosh, perhaps there might be a number or two out there that would be beyond $10,000, so we'll open it up at the very end and ask for those who might want to pledge uh, what which we called, we came up with, we scratched our heads, we thought, what about calling it size the limit, all right? So who knows what that might be, all right? So the way, and, and when you, uh, and what we'll do at this point then is to, um, we'll ask you to choose an amount that you're comfortable with, and uh, we'll work our way through the levels. And what I'd like to do is uh, ask for support at each level. So we'll start at the low level, up to 100. We'll ask you to just raise your hand if you're going to pledge at that level, and then we can give a round of applause to you. And once we've asked you to uh, raise your hand and so forth, and we've recognized you and thank you, then you can go ahead and enter that into your text line and push the send button, all right? And then we'll go to the $250 level and we'll do the same thing all the way up to the 10000 and then decide the limit level. We'll hope to achieve our ultimate goal of $225,000. So are we ready? Do we think we're ready? All right. So, um, oh, and by the way, after you pledge, it doesn't mean you pay. That's just, that's just giving us a number here. Uh, let me tell you how you're going to pay for just a minute. You know, so there are three different methods of paying. Once you press push your pledge button, you'll get a link that can allow you to pledge using your credit card right on the, uh, the Ray of Hope uh, little website that you get a link to. You can enter your credit card there. Otherwise, if you grab 
have to have somebody swipe your card. We have a number of volunteer staff running around the room tonight that will help you do so. You can just flag them over. Or there are, uh, there are envelopes, old school envelopes, on the table that will actually fit a check inside if you so desire to put some cash or say a, a check inside. You can use cash if you like. Uh, all right, so those are the three different methods. But the first thing to do is to choose an amount. Uh, okay, so our first idea would be uh, those of you who would be interested and capable and willing to pledge an amount up to $100, please raise your hand right now in support of Crystal Ray. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for all of your support. And once you've done that, go ahead and enter that amount into your phone and push send. All right. Now at the $250 level, please raise your hand if we can get a number of hands at the $250 level. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you all the way to the back. Thank you very much. All right. And here it comes. All right. Now, at the $500 level, who would like to pledge to raise your hand right now at the $500 level? Recognize me. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you, John. Who else at the $500 level? Just raise your hand and go ahead and then make that pledge. Once again, in order to pledge, you would just write in Crystal, Crystal, and then a space, and then the amount, and then your name, and it comes up what you push in. All right, we've done the five dollar level. Now the thousand dollar level. So raise your paddle, raise your paddle, raise your hand if you will, or your phone, or your neighbor's phone if you like. Thank you very much, fantastic. Thank you, Lee. Thank you so very much. Thank you for that thousand dollar pledge. Thank you very much. All right, so go ahead and plug that number in if you will. How are we doing up here? All right, we're already about twenty-two thousand dollars. How about that? All right, so who else at the thousand dollar level as you continue now we're up there about twenty-four thousand? That's fantastic. Okay, so we have a number of levels uh, remaining. So now we go to the twenty-five hundred dollar level. So raise your hand if you are able and willing to do at the twenty-five hundred dollar level. Thank you very much for that pleasure. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you at the twenty-five hundred dollar level. Thank you, Valerie. All right, who goes to the $2,500 level? Raise your hand and plug that number into our phone. All right, you your phone or anybody's phone. If you'd like, you can just grab your neighbor's phone and plug it into theirs. All right, who goes to the $2,500 level? Raise your power, raise your hand, and, and make your pledge. How are we doing? Oh, my. I say we've met and exceeded our goal. We can all go home. We've got new buildings on the way, John and DJ. <laughs> all right. I think we can all, my goodness. All right. Well, okay, let's see. Uh, turn out the lights, bring on the champagne. Okay. All right, so we don't quite know where we are. <laughs> Must be April Fool's Day, huh? All right, somebody plugged in quite a number. Who knows what it might have been? And uh, yeah, that's uh, right up there. All right, so now we're at five. Ah, we have another pledge with five trillion. Would that be trillion or quadrillion? All right, we're back. Okay, we're back to reality. Very good. Thank you, Mika. All right, so who else might be able to pledge at the five thousand dollar level? Who there we can move on to this. Uh, all right, anybody else at the five thousand? We still bringing them in. All kinds of levels coming in. All right. Next up, who would like to pledge to go to five thousand? Thank you very much, Liz. Thank you very, very much for our dear sponsors that is on. Thank you, my Liz. And also, that is great. Thank you very much. Who else at the five thousand dollar level can help make a huge difference here at for our thirty remaining students with a seventy five hundred dollar gap each and a two hundred forty five thousand dollar goal? Anybody else at the five thousand dollar level? Go ahead and uh, plug that number in. Okay. Now we're going to the seventy-five dollar level. We threw that level in because we were hoping to uh, to uh, to perhaps have a few of you who would be considerate and create an entire bridge to gap fund for a student, which would take care of one student at seventy-five hundred. So raise your hands right now if you're able to do seventy-five hundred dollars, and you can do so. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for that seventy-five hundred dollar pledge. That's fantastic. All right. So how are we doing so far? We're sixty-two thousand dollars. All right. So. Now, here comes the big number. All right, so who might be able to, willing and able to pledge at the $10,000 level? If you please raise your hand right now. Fantastic. My gosh, Chuck, thank you, DJ. Thank you, John Caprado. Thank you very much. Who else might be able to go to the $10,000 level? Who else at the $10,000 level? That's fantastic. Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much to our right. Who else is a $10,000 budget? It doesn't make a difference. It's a fantastic difference that is. All right, who else? How are we doing now? We've got those numbers coming in. We're up over a over hundred thousand dollars. That's fantastic. All right, so uh, a fantastic number so far. That's 112. All right, they keep coming in. Let's just give that a few moments to see how far we go. With those of you who are plugging in that kind of $10,000 budget, and uh, we don't want to. Uh, to, uh, to skip any one of you who are able to make. If you want to remain anonymous, you're welcome to continue to do so. This does not commit you to be, you would just leave your name off there, but we just want to calculate that as, uh, to get the cumulative total as we run along here. So we're at $133,000. All right, my goodness. So we're about to develop. Let's see if that number is going to jump anymore. Do we have any more activity going on? Uh, in the room. Any more of you, any, any, uh, for those of you who have yet to pledge, go ahead and make those pledges now at 133.7. For so our, our total goal would be $225,000. What's the number, what's the math there? We're about 90, 90-ish, something like that. All right, so the big question might be, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, would be the sky's the limit. That's right, Doug. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, that's absolutely true, right? Absolutely. All right, so who has that? Uh, are there uh, any of you who might in the room be able and willing to pledge a number of, above, any number above $10,000 that might help us get closer to our goal of $225,000? Anybody else that they size the limit level, you can raise your hand or plug in a number and let us know that it's coming up. Anybody else above the size, of, uh, at the size the limit level, anything at $10,000 or above $10,000 would be fantastic in helping us get in close to our goal of 225. How about that? We've got 143,000. I think that would be another 10,000 that just came in. Is that right? So we're getting closer. We're about $80,000 away right now. All right. So who else might be able to make that gap and, uh, and pledge another, either another 10? Or perhaps we can get that, uh, that aggressive bidder who pledged uh, uh, 43 trillion. That would be great at this moment. Get us over the hump. All right, who else might be able to pledge at the $10,000 level? Who else four above at the size of limit level? How's that number looking now? All right, 154, we're getting there. All right, absolutely, we're next to the best way to get it. 154,000 and rolling. All right, who else? Sorry, 164. Oh my gosh, every time you get blink. All right, start blinking, everybody. All right. $164,581. All right. Just a few dollars away. $225,000. You do the math. Joe, how much would that be a difference there? Any idea? $60,000. All right. $60,000. Absolutely. Here we go. Who else at the, perhaps the $10,000 or $5,000 or the sky the limit level can help us make it a reality, getting us closer to that $225,000 of 30 remaining scholarships? For these kids uh, in our senior class, and they are an amazing class at that. Who else at the thirty at the uh, ten thousand dollar level or above or five thousand? As you're still entering into your phone, let us know if we are still able to to, to jostle that number anymore. Who else at above the ten thousand dollar level can make it happen? Anybody else? All right, at one hundred sixty-four. Are we all good? Anybody else at one hundred uh, at, at any further pledge above one hundred sixty-four thousand to make it happen? All right, well, they, oh, there you go. This is a brilliant minute, buddy. That's fantastic. So somebody came in at 15 pounds, and that help go? Is that the man? I'm helping to give you the account here. At the $15,000 level, that's fantastic. We're at 179000 All right, so uh, if, 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 if history repeats itself, I just keep rattling on here until tomorrow morning. We serve breakfast, and we make the number. All right, lock the door. <laughs> All right. All right. Who else at the uh, at that any level, any, any number above, uh, any number whatsoever in life, but any number above ten thousand would be our size and limit level, helping us to move that needle closer to the two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. We're crossing our fingers, of course. Who else might be able to do so? Anything above ten thousand, uh, or at ten thousand, or five, or twenty-five hundred dollars, with a seventy-five hundred dollar level that would uh, fund an entire. Uh, tuition gap. Who else can make a, a, a bit of a nudge there about the 179,831? Anybody else above that uh, uh, can help uh, knock that number up a little bit? All right. Anybody else? Before we close, all done, all through at 179,831. Well, how about that? Ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a huge round of applause. Uh oh.
Our wonderful students, what is your dream? I'm an immigration lawyer. Can you come on there? Be a policy maker for change. I'm an international businesswoman. To be a female leader. To be a, to be a pediatric doctor. To be a lawyer.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for attending. Thank you for all your support, fabulous support. You're welcome to uh, make your way out. You can linger if you like and uh, and socialize. Uh, otherwise, you're you're free to go uh, meet with our students and make your way out if you like. Thank you so much.